I wanna include this. I wanna get a picture in this cutout ball before we head out. This is a great photo op, so it'd be a real waste not to. I've gone ahead and called in Naoi over too, so you should join in. Sure. Let's start making some memories. Without further ado, it's time to play Who Looks More Like Date Masamune. In the blue corner, we have Inaui. That's fine. I don't quite follow, but I'll do my best. How's this? Ooh. This is crazy. You really do look like him. <laughs> look good. Looking good, Yusuke. Hmm. It's like he's wearing armor. How interesting. Oh, what's up, Masamune? Very well. I can't say I don't like the sound of that. Hmm. <laughs> There's still something missing. Oh, that's right. Oh, I know. You get the other one. Why? <laughs> Here comes the princess. Cute couple. Something is amiss. Is it just me, or are we being exploited for her entertainment? Oh, the the Yusuke Joker shipper are getting super moist right now. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's all part of the world trip. We are an item now. Well, if you say so. Right, right. Looks great, but maybe you could get a little more to the wall. Like this? Aww. Not even close. Look you now, you're Lord Dati Masamune. As a ruler of Toho region, everyone's throwing mad respect your way. You gotta own it. In that case. Perhaps like this. You think you can win the respect of your people like that? <laughs> then how about this? <sighs> so you actually kind of freaked me out. Everyone had fun at the photo standard. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Alright, here we go to the next city. What are you gonna do? Wait. What's true? Here's what I found. No, 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 do crest. So yeah, what go are to you the gonna next do? City. Let's go. How long to Sapporo? From here, it'll take approximately 12 hours under normal driving conditions, as well as a trip by ferry. No way! I thought we were closer than that. <sighs> Guess we'll have to stop and snooze another night before we get there. Even after landing in Hokkaido, we still have a long drive ahead of us. Will you be alright, Mako-chan? Don't worry, I'll be able to power the whole way through. You rock, Makoto! I like that energy! Hmm. Few hours later, certain parking area. <sighs> I have to admit, I'm kind of exhausted. A certain parking area? You should rest for. You don't push yourself too much. <sighs> Thanks. I should be fine after a little rest. That's true. We were in the camper all day. We definitely owe you a break. Sorry for asking too much of you, Mako-chan. I wish I could drive in your stead. I mean, you could. Don't you worry about me. Driving's a responsibility I enjoy. Plus, it's nice listening to everyone chatter away in the back. Keeps me alert and motivated. Then we will find a way to repay your devotion. Ryuji, massage your shoulders at once, and procure the finest self-serve money can buy. On it! Wait, why does it have to be me? <laughs> I'll massage you too before bed. I know this technique that works wonders on sore muscles. Us models use it all the time. That'd be great. I could use a good massage. <laughs> Makoto, I need to apologize. What? Why? Because I can't help you. Even though I know how effective physical stimulation is at treating fatigue. But I'm all digital. And therefore, incapable of massaging. 
An AI that can't provide assistance cannot be humanity's companion. I'm as worthless as a book. Oh, come on, don't get so down on yourself. Uh, Sophia? Are you going through mood swings or something? Uh, you're far from worthless. Yeah, no need to be so hard on yourself. You've been a great deal of help so far. We owe you a lot, Sophia. You mean it? That makes me happy. And I do want to try this soft serve you speak of. Uh, that's kind of hot since, you know. Her mood swung right back to normal. Makoto, you look spent. I say we call it a day the moment we reach Hokkaido. In that case, we should treat ourselves to some local cuisine for dinner. Oh, I've always wanted to try wasabi soda. Uh, no thanks. Huh? What's wrong with wasabi soda? Oh yeah, wasabi is super hot and... You know... I mean, not hot. That Hang it... in there, Makoto. Sapporo's just a stone's throw away. I hear you. Hokkaido sure is vast, isn't it? Vast enough to call it huge Kaido by my reckoning. It's supposed to be a lot cooler up here, so hopefully that means no more stuffy, sleepless nights. You said it. There's nothing more hellish than sleeping in a hot, sweaty tent crammed with dudes. <laughs> hellish indeed. We were so overheated we nearly stripped naked by morning time. I found it obscenely refreshing. <laughs> of course you did! Just make sure you keep the nudity inside the tent, please. <laughs> what is that little... That's a weird shadow that sometimes goes by. Ah, uh, it could be just a hole or something. Hello, Sapporo! God, why did... My frame rate crashed so much. So this is Sapporo Central City, a bustling outpost of civilization, cradled by the untamed wilderness. Oh, it's probably because I have something else running in the background. Hey, you think they're still doing the snow festival? Are you seriously that dumb? Well, it certainly is cooler here than Tokyo. It should be a nice change of pace. I know we just got here, but... I want to check whether there's a jail nearby. Sophia? I do smell a jail. An intense one. Oh, God. Just like Gramps said. That means whoever Zenkichi's looking into is the monarch of Sapporo. Then may I suggest we comb the area for intel? Uh, before that, I think we should hit the bath. Seriously, I've been feeling all gross since yesterday. Agreed. It would be nice to freshen up a little first. Then let me help. I've already located a bathing facility only 500 meters from here. Wow, Sophia. You work quick. Guess it's bath time for you guys, then. In the meantime, I'll be on the prowl for that intel. Don't worry, Mona-chan. I'll rinse you down as soon as we're done. W what No, no, I, I can clean myself just fine. No, 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 no. You get properly clean. We throw you in the river. It's just as the data says. Cats hate getting wet. Don't lump me in with those other fur balls. I demand you give your data a full rewrite. Oh, are you taking a bath on your own, Will? I'd like to try a bath. Would someone mind bringing this phone in? Oh, no. Uh, wouldn't the hot water, like, wreck it? Along with you inside? I'm sure we can work out the details. Now, Sophia. Will you guide us there? Mm -hmm. This is a doughy park. It's famous for its fountain and TV tower. The bathhouse is in a place called Suzushino. It should only be a short walk away from here, so let's get going. I should write something. I have five new requests already. I cannot go in the van. Let's get to work. Wait, what? I can go into the van right now? And I can explore a jet right away? Oh well. Oh! Huh. Looking like a ghost. Mommy, 
Do you think Kaho-chan will like these? I do. She'll say, thank you for the pretty flowers. If only heaven wasn't so far away, then maybe I could see her. Did something happen over there? They're leaving flowers. Maybe somebody passed away. Now that you mention it, I do recall there was an accident on the news. Something about a snow sculpture collapsing in Odori Park? It ended up taking a young girl's life. Maybe that was where it happened. I can only imagine the sorrow her family must be suffering. Yeah. What's wrong? Are we not taking a bath anymore? Oh boy, I mean, it's an AI, so... <laughs> it still has to learn what it means. Now we're in Suzushino, which is apparently a haven for pedestrians around this time. I wonder why it's so crowded though, everybody talking about voting. Let's go! Well, no matter. Back to the bathhouse. Just go straight for a bit, then take a right, and you'll be there. Here we go, bathhouse time. Yes! Here we are. Ooh, what a fancy spot! Okay, go get yourself clean up! You should also clean yourself. Ah, now this is paradise. Okay, Ryuji. Just don't get any funny ideas, okay? I'll say. The heat has crept into my bones. Melts the stress away. I miss the place near Leblanc. That bath was pretty solid. We should go again when we're in town. Anyways, it's nice having a bath like this all to ourselves. Can't get that at home. What's more, we're in the middle of a long journey. We must take proper measures to recover our strength and stamina. Whoa, on! Are those CGI? Huh? Oh, was she referring to that her, you know, your voice is coming from the guard side. What cheat codes did you use to get those? Dieting life hacks? You're so skinny. Yeah. <laughs> Could you stop drawing attention to me? Go bother Haru instead. Hers are no different. <gasps> stop it! Wow. I mean, this is just classic in every anime. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, Ryuji! Aw, oh, thanks. I've been really working these abs. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't even know what I expected to happen. Man, this water feels great. Morgana really should have been here. Yep. Sophia might like it as well. Though, being incorporeal may pose a challenge. She really is a mystery, ain't she? What are your thoughts on her? She's humanity's companion. That much is obvious, but didn't she say something about wanting to understand people's hearts? Ah, oh, the heart of mankind. Try as I may, I have yet to depict its full essence in my paintings. It hides both darkness and light, mingling beauty and atrocity in its depths. Try as you may to unravel it, its enigma grows deeper still. Hmm. Not sure I can comment on that, but I do know Sophia gets along with all of us. Gets me thinking she might not need to worry about all that heart stuff. It doesn't show so she can grow. That is indeed a logical conclusion, particularly for a sentient program. Understanding the heart would certainly prove helpful. Uh, yeah, what you said. 
She seems pretty dead set on it, too. If that's what Sophia has decided, we should lend her our full support. She is our precious ally, after all. <laughs> True enough. She could use all the help she can get. Damn, the heat's starting to get to me. Want to ditch the bath and grab some milk coffee? Fruit medley milk for me? I take 12. Fruit medley milk for me. Whoa, that sounds good too. Now I can't make up my mind. I protest. We are in Hokkaido, as you may recall. It would be a sin to forego its fresh dairy offerings for some artificial substitute. To appreciate it properly, we must partake right as it's squeezed from the udder. The way farmers have done for millennia. Um... Uh, yeah. Knock yourself out, man. Great. Alright. Body and mind refreshed. That bath was just what we needed. Thanks for suggesting this place, Sophia. No prob. Glad I could be of service. I noticed you guys were pretty quiet. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> you know. Huh? You have a phone call from Zenkichi. Greetings. You are now speaking to the long arm of a wall. So, you guys in Sapporo yet? Who is this? Zenkichi Hasegawa. Come on, you know it's me. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to set up a meeting. How about I swing by the RV in the evening? Zenkichi's gonna meet us? Then let's go be ready for him. Now that we're all together, let's talk about the monarch of Sapporo. Our suspect's name is Mariko Hyodo. Oh, and wait for it. She's the mayor of Sapporo Central. Oh. Our target's a mayor? No way! Wouldn't that make her the most influential person in Sapporo? How could someone like that be a monarch? No, nah, Shida wasn't so different. This is true. Such things have happened before. How'd you find out she's the one? Because everybody is suddenly in love with her. Mayor Hyodo's approval rating now sits at a lofty 88%. She gained 50 points in the last two months alone. Did you say 50? So she got crazy popular out of nowhere? It's more than just crazy. It's unheard of. There's more. Last month, three city councilmen who opposed her bill admitted to corruption and resigned. Any remaining councilmen who opposed her suddenly became her most fervent advocates. Not to mention the elections coming up. It's all too convenient. Politicians being able to use a to use a phone app? Oh god, that's unheard of otherwise. Rumor has it Shoto wants to expand her political influence to the national level. PubSec's been investigating that. But alas. We haven't run across any solid leads just yet. So what do you make of all this? Ah, oh, someone's changing up. Bingo. And that's where you come in. It is suspicious, I will admit. But we'd need a keyword to confirm whether she's a monarch or not. That won't be a problem. She's already referenced Emma several times in her speeches. Meaning there's a good chance she's been announcing her keyword in public. So, you're saying we can find out her keyword if we go see her speak? Very likely, yes. In fact, Kyoto's gonna be in Suzushino on the 10th making a speech. Since it's close to the election, the crowds may well be in the thousands. That's a grip! If she is indeed changing people's hearts, then perhaps this is no surprise. Hmm. <sighs> is something wrong, Haru? No, it's just... Mm, it's hard to explain. Mariko Hyodo. The name seems familiar somehow. I mean, she is the mayor of town. 
Maybe you've heard her name on TV. Possibly. Sorry, let's put that aside for now. Whatever you do, don't try and contact her directly. I'm saying this to keep you safe. It'll be a downright pain in the ass if she finds out we're on to her. I suggest you enjoy your leisure time until the day of the speech. Hey, should we tell him what happened with Ichinose-san? She's an important part of our investigation now. Oh, let's not tell him just yet. <sighs> I can hear you, you know. Mind filling me in? I think you ought to give Zenkichi the details. Y you made a deal with the inventor of Emma? Wait, hold on. That's Kuan Ichinose, you said? Where have I heard that before? Right, she was on my report. Ichinose is the one who wrote Emma from scratch. Were you looking into her? I was looking into Medice, actually. Wasn't long before her name popped up. The famous inventor who sold off Emma to Medice. Tell me, how'd you get cozy with someone like that? I mean, she approached us because of Morgana. Oh, well, uh, I guess it just sort of happened. What matters is her familiarity with Emma. If anyone abuses it, she could help us find out who and why. Only Ichinose knows Emma's ins and outs, no matter what version it is. Makes sense. The report didn't make her out to be somebody dangerous. And while she does sound like a valuable source of info, I really want you guys to be more careful about this operation. I'm trusting you guys a lot by sharing all this classified intel. So I'd prefer you don't go creating liabilities like this behind my back. Understood. We'll take your advice to heart. Good. And besides, shouldn't I be your go-to guy for help? Seeing you guys run off making confidants left and right makes me feel like a lonely old man. Are you trying to gain our trust or get attention? Hmm. <laughs> Hate to say it, Gramps, but we do shit on our own because your help only gets us so far. What? It's not my fault I'm not an expert on all this cognitive mumbo-jumbo. And would it kill you to ditch the Gramps? I'm as fly as any one of you kids. Oh, God. Uh... The... Uh, just the sole reason that you tried to use youth speak makes it really awkward. Mm -hmm. At least say something. <laughs> that go teaser statement. Your glasses are nice. I guess. I don't need your pity. <laughs> You're the one bringing it up. Never mind that. <sighs> Point is. There's a speech on the 10th, and I'm counting on you to be there. There we go. I don't need your pity. <laughs> I wish there was something we could do until then. I'm not a fan of waiting. What else can we do but be prepared and keep ourselves in top condition? It's like Zenkichi said earlier. Let's enjoy our leisure time and make the most of our trip. Hey, uh, since we're in Hokkaido, we should chow out on seafood. I hear Hokkaido's soup curry is also not to be missed. I'd like to visit the former government office. Their flowers are supposed to be breathtaking. Okay, then I'll set a route that takes us to each of those destinations. Thanks, Sophia. The directions are all yours tomorrow. Well, I had a government office. Check it out. It's actually pretty hip for such an old place. Is it? It was once the main office for the Hokkaido government. Now it remains a symbol of the island and an important cultural property. Simply marvelous. There's a stillness and symmetry here that ignites my artist's soul. And the garden is so lovely. How many kinds of flowers do you think there are? What's going on over there? This flower is completely wilted! How could you overlook this? I have the feeling that's our target. Ma'am, I'm so sorry! It's just, this summer's been much hotter than last year. Spare me your excuses! This flower bed is one of the city's main points of attraction. Have you forgotten you work for the most powerful woman in Sapporo Central? Perhaps you won't much longer. Please, no! I'll do anything to fix this! 
You can keep your eyes glued to these flowers around the clock for all I care. Just do not let this happen again. Then that's what I'll do, Mayor. Jeez, that's one scary lady. Oh, hold on. Did he just call her Mayor? Oh, are you all here for sightseeing? I'm sorry you had to witness such unprofessional behavior from our staff during your visit. Oh, no. Hmm. Could it be? Your Haru-chan. Huh? Huh? Of course you wouldn't recognize me. You were tiny the last time I saw you. It's me, Mariko Hiodo. Your father, President Okumura, was a very good friend of mine. Was he? Hiodo? She's the mayor? Okay, guys, don't panic. Oh, could it be your Mari-san? Yes, yes. Oh, that lifts my heart. It's been ever so long. Uh, Haru, do you know this lady? Yes, of course I do. She used to come visit me back when I was little. Mari-san was one of my father's clients. They used to go golfing all the time. And she'd always keep me company whenever I was bored or lonely. Some freaking coincidence. Ooh, you got that right. Haru-chan. I'm so sorry about what happened to your father. Oh, no. Thank you for your concern. Well, if there's anything that's been troubling you, you know that I'm here for you with open arms. I appreciate you saying that, but I'm okay. I have good people managing my company, and I'm working hard to finish my degree. And while I'm grateful to be surrounded by such wonderful people, I still have to walk on my own two feet. Haru-chan, my, how you've grown. Mari-san, I'm not a little kid anymore. Oh, please forgive me. It seems my emotions got the better of me. Now then, are you here visiting with your friends? I hope you're all enjoying Sapporo to the fullest. Rest assured, my staff is working hard to make Sapporo a beautiful and worthwhile destination for all. Don't just stare at the ground. Replace these hideous flowers at once. Uh, I'm on it. Ah, goodness. The moment I turn away, they all start slacking off. Ah, I'm sorry you had to see that. Now, as much as I'd like to keep chatting, there are preparations to be done. This election has kept me busy night and day. But do let me know if there's any way I can help you. <sighs> Sorry to be so blunt, but she seems really two-faced. Mari-san, you used to be so kind to everyone. You think maybe she's not the monarch we're after? I don't know. We just saw her go apeshit on that guy. Normal people don't get pissed over plants. Are you okay, Haru? Yes, I'm fine. Just a little surprised is all. Oh, and sorry I didn't get her keyword. I was preoccupied. Uh, d d nothing to apologize for. Yeah, it's like we discussed. We'll hear it when she makes her speech. Makoto's right. Our chance will come. For today, let's go around asking for rumors on Hyodo and make that our objective. Yes. I'd like to find out what changed her. <laughs> uh -huh. Another day already? Mm-hmm. All kinds of people here, meaning there are all kinds of rumors too. We want is any kind of info that points to Mariko Hiyoto being a monarch. What could it be? Uh, oh, I think. Hmm? Mayo Hodo, I can finally meet you at last. You're all my hopes and dreams and body. Really? You guys are totally out of it. Are you talking about going to speech tomorrow? I don't want to let our guard down. Oh. 
There has been an emergency. Please come to the vending machine by the pharmacy immediately. Mm, I see. Something happened to Yosuke? Why don't I go find him? He lost money. Hey. What happened, Yosuke? Hey. Look at this. It's canned juice featuring milk and fish on mm -hmm. the label. Turning search results, this drink called primordial soup is considered a regional specialty. They press the juices out of locally sourced fish and blend it with fresh Hokkaido milk. It's marketed to what man in particular. <laughs> I don't know about all of that, I'm just worried about the smell. Who would invent such an monstrosity? It seems Sapu's culture is not to be trifled with. Seriously? Got my hair all standing up for nothing? Anyway, are you done gathering rumors? Not in the slightest. I was so taken aback that I lost focus. Perhaps I can recover if I offer, the, offer this to you. Please inform me of how it tastes. <laughs> I need to. <laughs> Prebiotic soup that enhances the potency of one's manhood. Whether such marketing is merit, we shall perhaps see. Should I just drink it and see if I'll something just happens? This. I should write something. Hmm. I think I can't just use it. No, I can't. Alright then. Okay, where are grumbling noises? Huh? There was grumble, grumble. Find anything? Hmm. Maybe due to the upcoming election, but nearly everyone is talking about Maui san. I haven't heard any criticism either. They're all singing her praises. To me, it's almost unnatural. I wonder. You need something? Look, I'm meeting up with the chick right now, so maybe later. Look at all the ramen spots they got. Crazy out there, like everywhere. Man, this place is the real deal. I almost don't want to leave. Good grief. Feasting your eyes is fine, but don't forget why we are here. Uh, yeah. Don't forget. We are looking for rumors about Hiyoto, right? My gut's telling me we'll find some here, maybe. Hmm? You're going to shut us down unless we clean up? Hey, what kind of joke is that? We clean the club thoroughly every day. Found a millimeter of dust on the handrail? Come on, quit fooling around. Are you serious? Hey, you're voting for mayor here or this coming election, aren't you? No can do. Did you say? Why the nerve of ya? I'll set you straight. Oh, you're a tourist. No matter, you just bear this in mind. Mayor Hayoro is a wonderful person. She'll be the one to guide the power. Nay, this country, perhaps even this very world, to new heights. This upcoming election is the first step on that journey. May I Yoro Sapporo stand with you. Long live Mayor Yoro. Glory to Sapporo. That sounds like glory to a Strotska. God, I'm so pale in this light. <laughs> that was definitely not normal. Okay, how much more grumble could there be? Oh, there you go. Oh, kids, you're the supporters too? No, you're only collecting rumors about her? Is it for an assignment or something? Day in and day out, all I hear is the same old fan fanaticism. People won't shut up about Hiyoto. They say she's trustworthy as it gets, but I'm pretty sure she's hiding something. There's no such thing as an honest politician. Still missing so much. Impressive. Oh, can we get I'm having a good time. Oh, I mean, why wouldn't you have a good time? Wait, where are you looking for more intel? Did I already talk to Anne? Hey! I thought maybe a celebrity were here, but I guess I all came to check out that poster. Wait, can I go to a different location? Why 
What or who am I missing? Oh, maybe where Yusuke was. Hmm? There. Still you <laughs> Must hurry! Need medicine! Go see a doctor. I mean, I'd like to, but I don't have the time. I work the early shift tomorrow, too. Need to hurry up and recover. Or at least get back to work. Otherwise, the mayor's gonna be livid. What did you say? Did you say the mayor? Hey, give me all the energy to drink some medicine you got. I'm talking about emptying the shelves here. Is he being overworked like that city employee we saw this afternoon? All right. Gather plenty of information. The situation is similar to Shibuya and Sendai. The more we hear, the more suspicious Yoda becomes. She's giving out her keyword during speeches as then as Kichi says. You know if she's a monarch or not by entering her keyword on Emma. Wanna head back? Let's go to bed early today and be ready for tomorrow. Think we should head back? Let's keep exploring. Alright then. Go back to the camper when you're done. <laughs> 